The 95th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, composed of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from January 3, 1977, to January 3, 1979, during the final weeks of the administration of U.S. President Gerald Ford and the first two years of the administration of U.S. President Jimmy Carter. The apportionment of seats in this House of Representatives was based on the 19th Census of the United States in 1970. Both chambers had a Democratic majority. It was the first time either party held a filibuster-proof 60% supermajority in both the Senate and House chambers since the 89th United States Congress in 1965, and last time until the 111th United States Congress in 2009. All three supermajorities were Democratic Party and also were accompanied by Democratic presidents. As of 2018, this is the most recent Congress to approve an amendment the unratified District of Columbia Voting Rights Amendment to the Constitution. <laughs> Major events January 20, 1977, inauguration of President Jimmy Carter July 13, 1977, New York City blackout of 1977 January 1, 1978, the Northern Mariana Islands left the Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands to become a Commonwealth of the United States, making it unincorporated and organized. February 8, 1978, Senate proceedings are broadcast on radio for the first time. August 7, 1978, Love Canal disaster September 17, 1978, Camp David Accords Hearings Project MKULTRA Church Committee, Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, Senate Human Resources Subcommittee on Health and Scientific Research Topic. Major legislation August 3, 1977, Surface Mining Control and Reclamation Act, Pub. L. 95-87, 91 Stat. 445 August 4, 1977, Department of Energy Organization Act of 1977, Pub. L. 95-91, 91 Stat. 565 October 7, 1977, Earthquake Hazards Reduction Act of 1977, Pub. L. 95-124, 91 Stat. 1098 October 12, 1977, Community Reinvestment Act, Pub. L. 95-128, Title 8, 91 Stat. 1147 November 23, 1977, Saccharin Study and Labeling Act of 1977, Pub. L. 95-203, 91 Stat. 1451 December 27, 1977, Clean Water Act, Pub. L. 95-217, 91 Stat. 1566 December 28, 1977, International Emergency Economic Powers Act, Pub. L. 95-223, Title II, 91 Stat. 1626 March 10, 1978, Nuclear Non-Proliferation Act of 1978, Pub. L. 95-242, 92 Stat. 120 October 10, 1978, Susan B. Anthony Dollar Coin Act of 1979, Pub. L. 95-447, 92 Stat. 1072 October 13, 1978, Civil Service Reform Act, Pub. L. 95-454, 92 Stat. 1111 October 24, 1978, Airline Deregulation Act, Pub. L. 95-504, 92 Stat. 1705 October 25, 1978, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, Pub. L. 95-511, 92 Stat. 1783 October 26, 1978, Ethics in Government Act, Pub. L. 95-521, 92 Stat. 1824 October 27, 1978, Humphrey Hawkins Full Employment Act, Pub. L. 95-523, 92 Stat. 1887 
October 31, 1978, Pregnancy Discrimination Act, Pub. L. 95-555, 92 Stat. 2076 November 1, 1978, Contract Disputes Act, Pub. L. 95-563, 92 Stat. 2383 November 4, 1978, Solar Photovoltaic Energy Research, Development, and Demonstration Act of 1978, Pub. L. 95-590, 92 Stat. 2513 November 6, 1978, Bankruptcy Act of 1978, Pub. L. 95-598, 92 Stat. 2549 November 8, 1978, Indian Child Welfare Act, Pub. L. 95-608, 92 Stat. 3069 November 9, 1978, National Energy Conservation Policy Act, Pub. L. 95-619, 92 Stat. 3206 Constitutional amendments August 22, 1978, approved an amendment to the United States Constitution granting the District of Columbia full representation in the United States Congress, full representation in the Electoral College system, and full participation in the process by which the Constitution is amended, and submitted it to the state legislatures for ratification. This amendment, commonly known as the District of Columbia Voting Rights Amendment, was later rendered inoperative, as it was not ratified within the seven-year time frame set by Congress. <laughs> Treaties ratified March 16, 1978, first of the Torrijos-Carter Treaties Panama Canal Treaty. The Treaty Concerning the Permanent Neutrality and Operation of the Panama Canal", commonly known as the Neutrality Treaty. April 19, 1978, second of the Torrijos-Carter Treaties Treaty, commonly known as the Panama Canal Treaty. <laughs> Party summary Topic Senate Topic House of Representatives Topic Leadership Topic Senate President of the Senate, Nelson Rockefeller R. until January 20, 1977 Walter Mondale D. from January 20, 1977 President pro tempore, James Eastland D. Permanent Acting President pro tempore, Lee Metcalf D. until January 12, 1978 Deputy President pro tempore, Hubert Humphrey D. until January 13, 1978 Topic: Majority Democratic leadership. Majority Leader Robert Byrd. Majority Whip Alan Cranston. Caucus Secretary Daniel Inouye. Campaign Committee Chairman Wendell H. Ford. Topic: Minority Republican leadership. Minority Leader, Howard Baker Minority Whip, Ted Stevens Republican Conference Chairman, Carl Curtis Republican Conference Secretary, Clifford Hansen National Senatorial Committee Chair, Bob Packwood Policy Committee Chairman, John Tower <laughs> House of Representatives Speaker, Tip O'Neill, D. Topic Majority Democratic Leadership Majority Leader, Jim Wright, Majority Whip, John Bradamos, Chief Deputy Majority Whip, Dan Rostenkowski, Democratic Caucus Chairman, Tom Foley, 
Caucus Secretary, Shirley Chisholm Democratic Campaign Committee Chairman, James C. Corman Minority Republican leadership Minority Leader, John Jacob Rhodes Minority Whip, Robert H. Michel Conference Chair, John B. Anderson Conference Vice Chair, Samuel L. Devine Conference Secretary, Jack Edwards Policy Committee Chairman, Del M. Clausen Campaign Committee Chairman, Guy Vander Jatt Caucuses Congressional Black Caucus Congressional Hispanic Caucus Congressional Caucus for Women's Issues House Democratic Caucus Senate Democratic Caucus Members Topic Senate. In this Congress, Class II meant their term ended with this Congress, facing re-election in 1978. Class III meant their term began in the last Congress, facing re-election in 1980, and Class I meant their term began in this Congress, facing re-election in 1982. Topic House of Representatives. Members of the House of Representatives elected statewide at large, are preceded by at large, and the names of those elected from districts, are preceded by their district numbers. Many of the congressional district numbers are linked to articles describing the district itself. Since the boundaries of the districts have changed often and substantially, the linked article may only describe the district as it exists today, and not as it was at the time of this Congress. Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Senate Replacements, 11 Democratic, 3-seat net loss Republican, 3-seat net gain Deaths, 4 Resignations, 5 Vacancy Total seats with changes, 9 House of Representatives Replacements, 6 Democratic, 4-seat net loss Republican, 4-seat net gain Deaths, 6 Resignations, 21 Contested election Total seats with changes, 25. Topic: Committees. Lists of committees and their party leaders for members, House and Senate of the committees and their assignments. Go into the official congressional directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link. Two links in the directory after the pages of Terms of Service. You will see the committees of the Senate, House, standing with subcommittees, Select and Special, and Joint. And after the committee pages, you will see the House Senate committee assignments in the directory. On the committees section of the House and Senate in the official congressional directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. <inaudible> <inaudible> Joint committees Atomic Energy Congressional Operations Defense Productions Economic Taxation Library Printing Topic. Employees and legislative agency directors Topic. Legislative branch agency directors Architect of the Capitol, George M. White Attending Physician of the United States Congress, Freeman H. Carey Controller General of the United States, Elmer B. Stotts 
Director of the Congressional Budget Office, Alice M. Rivlin Librarian of Congress, Daniel J. Burstyn Public Printer of the United States, Thomas F. McCormick until 1977, John J. Boyle starting 1977. Topic: Senate. Chaplain: Edward L. R. Elson. Historian: Richard A. Baker. Parliamentarian: Murray Swaben. Secretary: Francis R. Valio until March 31, 1977. J. Stanley Kimmett starting March 31, 1977. Sergeant at Arms: Frank Hoffman. Secretary for the Majority: Howard O. Green Jr. Secretary for the Minority, Walter J. Stewart <laughs> House of Representatives Chaplain, Edward G. Latch Clerk, Edmund L. Henshaw, Jr. Doorkeeper, James T. Malloy Parliamentarian, William Holmes Brown Reading Clerks, Bob Barry R. N. A. D. Postmaster, Robert V. Rota Sergeant-at-Arms, Kenneth R. Harding See also United States elections, 1976 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 1976 United States Senate elections, 1976 United States House of Representatives elections, 1976 United States elections, 1978 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 1978 United States House of Representatives elections, 1978